As tonight, a Macon family struggling to fix damage to their home after a driver who was shot crashed into it last week. Barbara Wilson lives on Rice Place. She walked Taylor Hicks through the damage. As you can see behind me, the front door is completely gone and the roof is caving in. But Wilson says she can't get any insurance money for repairs until the sheriff's office gives her more answers. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. These are the words that Barbara Wilson recalls her seven year old granddaughter, Kaylin, yelling the night of November 19th. I was sitting um, and eating at the, um, the couch and I was watching something on the TV. Don't remember it. And I was. And uh, the a van crashed into our house. A release from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says investigators got the call about a person shot in a car on Rice Place around 7 p.m. Deputies found 44 year old James Smith there shot in the chest. Wilson says Smith crashed into the front of her house and she's struggling to fix it. You know, I don't even have a front door anymore. I'm having to board it up. My front wall, this whole wall right here, from here. All the way over has got to be replaced inside and out and my door and my door frame. Wilson says it was a scary moment she can't forget. I know I have really bad PTSD from it because, like I said, every time I see a car coming down that road, I panic. If that van would have went right there, it would have got it would have went on me. And I'm glad it went to the door, but at the same time not glad that it went to the door. Sometimes I think about it even when I'm not in the living room. Sometimes I don't think about it, but when I go to the living room, I think about it. Wilson says she's contacted her insurance company, but they can't help her just yet. They told Wilson she must provide more information from investigators about the car Smith was driving, but so far the sheriff's office hasn't done that. So for now, Wilson is on her own, and she says she'd appreciate help from anyone who can give it. Reporting in Macon, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. So far, there have been no arrests in Smith's death.